everyone so we have another reaction video to the state of play which was just out today and they dropped some juicy trailers for us for certain games that i actually am looking forward to playing uh which is spider-man uh, this game obviously rebirth i'm really looking forward to playing final fantasy 7 uh rebirth especially how i was insanely in love with the remake and uh, what was the other one? The Resident Evil 4 DLC, um, Separate Ways, featuring Ada, which I will probably react to that once um, the full gameplay trailer is out, which is by the end of this week, I think, or maybe next week, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, Resident Evil later, but I think for now, this week, we're going to be like, talk about the other games, but let's hop into it. Rebirth, what you got for us? The world's ending. Okay. At least that's what everyone Mix of gameplay and uh, in-game cinematics. The sky. I don't like it. Dude, this is crazy. Zack is now Ready in, to fire, in, sir. in the Welcome sequel. To the new world order. Fire! Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you What was that scene where with all the with all the troopers? Oh my god, T Tifa, Barret, Barret got more, my, even Aerith, Aerith got more moves. Oh, dude, a tag team, actually. Oh, we gotta rewind this with the combat. Human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. That was at, uh, Nibelheim. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth. Can't see him. So you uh, the call too, oh you? my god, playable also! Oh, we they, they have a car too! Chocobo's climbing! Get together. Wait! They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Let's go! Wait, yeah. what is going on? I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. I don't know every single thing what happened in the middle of FF7. Come on. But uh I think that was I need a I need to play like the OG. I actually gotta like tune in and and play it. Tag team with Sephiroth, what the, the That beauty shot though. What? Oh, this is so quick. The other summons. Odin. <laughs> Golden saucer. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yup, the mini games. Dude, this is so Kingdom Hearts from Birth by Sleep. What is that? Excuse me. Could you look after my what friend? What is your name? Just Kirie? Kyrie? Not Kyrie. Two delirious creatures. You're in the life stream. Only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Oh no! Wait. Who dares disturb my? Oh, slumber? Vincent! It's upon <laughs> us. The reunion. When worlds merge. Oh, this game is I going all out. All the characters are actually here. I will say, like, where's uh, is Sid later on? See, like. I don't know everything with the part two, uh, with part two, or like in the middle of FF seven. Like I know, if anything, the the summary of the game because it's, it was always talked about, and I always tuned into it when I was younger. But I don't know every single detail of the game, um, and it's funny because FF seven has been always like something so, so like. Uh, it, I always had like some weird relationship with FF Seven because like I it's it's something that I know of and actually really know of because of uh, and along with other Final Fantasy games because of Kingdom Hearts because I'm I'm a I was always a Kingdom Hearts fan first over Final Fantasy that's where like everything started and this is like Kingdom Hearts was like sort of the gateway for me to uh, get into the Final Fantasy franchise um, back then when I was younger obviously. So, uh, I did play the OG, but I didn't finish everything, neither do I know every single detail of it. And I also did watch um, Advent Children. I loved Advent Children. I'm, I'm, I'm those type of people. Uh, but it's, um, 
Okay, yeah, February 29th on two disc. Nice. 2024. Man, it's coming very soon. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, so for those who... For those who know the details of F7, feel free to talk about it and share it to me in the comments down below. But for those who are new to the franchise, don't even bother look at the comments section if you don't want to be spoiled. But I would love to know, like, these little details. Um, it's but yeah, I'm excited to see, like, Vincent Valentine's, like, gameplay. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to have one of the coolest gameplay. The reunion. Oh, wait, is this the cover? Twin, pa twin pack pre-order. Oh, wow. Dude, this this cover looks nice. I need to see that full thing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna replay it. There's also like more news coming from Nomura and the, um, and his team. I, I think also Kitase uh, as well. They they had some stuff to say about the remix, so we're gonna check out Twitter or I mean X. Uh, but let's replay this one more time. I want to hear out certain things that may be important. So let's like have a dive. Uh, a deep dive into the gameplay and maybe like some s certain story elements. At least that's what everyone's saying. See, we're like, I guess he's in. Where is this place? What sector would this be? Sector four? Where Aerith is at? Is it a sector four? This I forgot. Guy, I don't like it. Ready to fire, sir. Dude, it looks so good. I always love Square Enix's like cinematics, man. Welcome to the new world order. This, this is so good. Fire! See what what is this section? And we're cloud apparently. Are we cloud? Yeah. Huh. Is this a flashback of his like made up memories? That'll be interesting to see this whole place. This looks very interesting. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell Dude, the the scale of the world. Look at that. The world verticality. Order. Look at look at. The, there's just so much. Fire! So much things to see. Just see, look at that. There's so much detail into the world. Listen. Tell oh my goodness. It's like going to um. A Final Fantasy VII Disneyland. That's what it looks like. This is the vibes I'm getting. This looks beautiful. Dude, yeah, Tifa's moveset is different. She has more more things that you can do with juggling. Listen, tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Dude, the the tag team is crazy. The tag team. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Yeah, this sick? seems more. Oh yeah, this is the the sequences from Nibelheim. But he actually opens up the capsules. Am I the same as these? Monsters? Or wait, did he shoot? See, I'm forgetting now. See, there's so many things in this whole compilation where it's like all my memories now are being mixed up <laughs> like i'm literally like cloud now so i may be wrong on certain things on remembering stuff we can overcome our fate am i the same as these monsters am i even yep this is where this is the turning point for him okay we're looking for sephiroth Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. So you heeded the call. That's, too, that's did so, you? man. He's gonna be so fun to play as. See, look, they there's mo there's literally vehicles in the game. They have a whole monster truck. As you can see, your brother. Look at this! Look at this! Final Fantasy VII of the Wild. Oh my God! Tears, tears of the Midgar. Tears of the uh, the live stream. You see. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get together. <laughs> Look, dude. Okay, see, this is what I really wanted from um, the remake is like more things to interact with, to see and, and explore. In Midgar, obviously, like they were on pace with its story, and I think I loved the story of how it was presented in the remake. But I just wanted more of it, considering like they're not gonna go back there. 
um, in a long time, <laughs> you know? Um, so, like, seeing, like, this is just the randomest thing to see, like, like, literally Cloud in a, in a scooter, electric scooter, and, well, what is this, are they in Costa del Sol or something, like, but this is, so you it's nice to you see that what are you they're, about? they're literally involving the remake. Your brothers down there are having a little get-together. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah, I ask, because I suspect. He looks, he, I know he's not Sid, but he looks like him. I, is, is this where we gonna see Sid around this part of the game? Or is it like later down, or are we gonna see him in part three? There's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! One of the bosses. Come on! I was gonna say Leviathan, it was Leviathan. Dude, these cool, this cool, like, these cool tag team. I wonder if, like, each character has their own unique tag team um, finisher. Or, like, what what, was it, what does it be, like, a limit break? This is so cool, the tag team combos. My goodness. On me. This is, this is so Kingdom Hearts 2 of them to do. This is super Kingdom Hearts 2. If you guys haven't played Kingdom Hearts 2, um, Sora, along with like a Disney character or like an, an original, like maybe like a Final Fantasy character or Kingdom Hearts character, there's tag team finishers just like this. Um, and literally, it, it operates the same and, and fights this or choreographed the same just like this. So it's it's so cool to see. The beauty shots, man. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the bosses when you roam around the uh, the open world. Or wait, was that one of the summons actually? I'm not gonna like dive dive deep about the lore or like certain details. I I apologize, you know. Um, but this is this is really like what I'm looking forward to though. The golden saucer. This was so cool to like actually see. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm not the the biggest hardcore FF7 guy out there, obviously, and uh, uh, my apologies. I did wish I knew everything about the, the little details of the game. Um, like I said, I was always a Kingdom Hearts fan first, but I'm, I'm just, like, all the little details here, like, I could really see the love from the team and... And the love of their franchise of what the de like the little details that they put in in every single frame you see in this trailer is insane to see, man. It's really insane to see. Wait, yeah, let's let's see the mini games though. Wait, who was that? Was that Yuffie? Oh yeah, there's Aerith. Oh yeah, that is Yuffie. She's like dressed up. See, this is so okay. Burke by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts, literally like this at the Toontown World. Oh my goodness. Or they're like Disney World. It's literally structured like this, and the art style and everything. This is super Kingdom Hearts Burke by Sleep. It's it's super Kingdom Hearts. I can't. I can't. I can't with it. It's so cool to see. They, Cause uh, what was it? They they basically like in Bird by Sleep they have their own like Mario Kart, Kingdom Hearts Mario Kart in there. So this is their Final Fantasy Chocobo Mario Chocobo Kart. You know. What is this about? Oh, it's just it's, it's this is. Oh my God, this is like Kingdom Hearts 3's, um. When you're in the uh, in the Toy Story world, there was like a little mini game you could do. It was very small. It wasn't. I wouldn't even really consider it like a mini game. But yeah, technically it was a mini game, and it operated the same where you had to do a left hook, right hook, and maybe there was a guard to uh, uh, to fight the other toy because Sora plays with another toy. So it's interesting to see a lot of the work that I've seen from Kingdom Hearts. I could I could see it like over here in in uh, this game. 
That's two in a row. Kingdom Hearts three and then Birth by Sleep. And also like with the uh, with the limit with the limit breaks or the the tag team finishers like super from like Kingdom Hearts two like. Now this, this that is obviously excuse purely me, from uh, FF seven remake. They just evolved this. So it's like more mob fights or something. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Dude, dude, are we actually gonna play as Zack? That's gonna be so insane, honestly. That's gonna be too that's gonna be so wild. This is all new content as well. Just for Who dares disturb my slumber? Wow man. So they did go back to Nibelheim. Oh wow, they made the underground accessible because there's a chest right here. So we're really gonna be exploring around Nibelheim. Wow. It's upon us. My goodness. The reunion. When worlds merge. I'm waiting, clown. Bro, I'm like low-key gonna tear up, bro. I'm actually so excited for next year. My goodness. Alright. We'll look we'll look at the um the Twitter post. Okay, so you guys probably can't see it, so I'm gonna like uh, read it out loud, but the FF7 Reaper has been set for uh, release in February 29, 2024. The second installment of the Final Fantasy VII Remake project will feature elements from the previous game as well as greatly enhanced features such as the vast world map to explore and synergy abilities with party members. Yeah, just like from we saw in, um, I forgot, in Yuffie's DLC for the remake. I hella forgot about that. My bad. Uh, the story will unfold more dramatically than ever before with a, a rapid pace of major twists and turns we know fans are dying to see one scene in particular no they're putting us really <laughs> already no no dude i'm not even gonna say it out loud for those who don't know Rebirth can be enjoyed on its own standalone adventure with the party leaving Midgard to explore the wide world beyond. But for those wishing to deepen their understanding of the story, a recap of previous game will also be provided. Okay, so they're doing something like similar with how uh, God of War Ragnarok did where they recap the uh, first game. Which you could probably access through the main menu. Uh, we hope both fans and those who have never played FF uh, before will enjoy this game. Alright, on to uh, this one, Hamaguchi. Uh, Hamaguchi, I think, was the, um, so Kik Kitase is the producer of, uh, FF7 Remake for this project. And I think Hamaguchi is the actual current director, while Nomura, he's the creative director. He's not really as, uh, actually, I, I wouldn't say, like, he's not necessarily full hands-on with the project, but he's definitely has a big role still as a creative director. But yeah, Hamaguchi is more so hands-on uh, with the project since he's like the main director um we are finally able to announce the release date sorry i was just checking my my video if it was recording we we're finally able to announce the release date to all of you we have been working tirelessly on final fantasy 7 rebirth since the release of the final fantasy 7 remake and we can't wait for you to experience our labor of love in this title cloud and his friends who have fled midgar will be setting out on an adventure across the expansive world of untold adventure of pursuit of sephiroth while the main storyline is bigger and more ambitious than previous games, narrative Final Fantasy VII Rebirth also embraces the concept of free exploration, with compelling stories, fun mini games, powerful monsters, and so much more to find throughout the world map. We hope you will explore this world in great detail as nearly 100 hours of adventure awaits. Oh my goodness, this is 100 hours? See, like, it took me about 50 to 60 hours, I think, to complete just part one itself so 100 hours wow i'm actually going to be impressed um they're really going all out for this um uh really for this whole rpg experience just like the og just like the og ff7 where it was like over 100 hours of your play time my goodness 100 hours i'm really looking forward to that then my goodness dude what i really do hope yeah like there is like a a good gameplay loop and new things to see in the world because my expectations as of right now is that the open world isn't going to be as expansive though though that is like my currently like my expectations of the game similar to how xenoblade chronicles is like they have an open world but it's 
it's not as interactive you could say or not much things to see but if rebirth could kind of twist my expectations on exploration that would mind blown me because again i just love part one so to see better things in part two would be much appreciated a lot all right on to what nomura has to say my man nomura all right this is the second title of the trilogy it covers between the start of the journey outside midgard to the midpoint of the original ff7 if Final Fantasy VII Remake was an introduction to the world and preparation for this journey, FF7 Rebirth serves as an illustration of the incidents that started the journey, an exploration of the people tied to it and the journey itself heading toward its climax. Many elements were carefully selected for this title because this is a series we have the unique opportunity to review and incorporate feedback from the previous titles, such as by increasing the number of characters. I'm sure that the bar for the next work will be raised even higher, jeez. He sounds so stressed. He sounds so stressed for like this upcoming third title. Now that we have included so many uh, spectacular elements in this work, but even so, the entire team continues to work diligently and without compromise on its development. There is also looming question of what fate awaits, whether you have experienced the original title or will embark on this adventure with fresh eyes we hope you will face the ending of this work on your own terms i'm so excited on like what's to come for rebirth because i was again ff7 remake during the pandemic was a special time because not only i had more time to play the game but it was a game where the ps4 was really being pushed to its limits it's something that i was like damn this is incredible the visuals just looked way better than um way better than Avan children and that's like an animated movie you know um and then the gameplay was just top tier and very innovative of a mix of being action uh, mixed with turn base and it seems that we're just gonna see a much more of a evolution of that game along with a lot of um fan service in a good way uh, especially for those who are familiar with this whole compilation uh with the especially like a lot of the characters are like returning here just what sephiroth said like a whole reunion is happening so it's it's crazy so it seems like we're gonna get up like a playable sephiroth and and maybe you know most likely or maybe potentially zach as well like just so many characters just involved in this title within a hundred hours playtime I hope it is I hope the hundred hours I mean there will probably be like lengthy cutscenes but I do hope a lot of it is playable uh, that's that I guess that's somewhat of my concern as of right now you could say but uh yeah we're on that FS7 hype train comment down below what you guys think um, remember to drop a like and subscribe thank you for all the love and support from the previous videos would love to see you guys uh, tune in my other videos uh, once we cover them. Uh, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to be covering Spider-Man for tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, but again, thank you for all the love and support uh, to the channel because it, it really does mean a lot to me, especially for my last video. I, I really did work hard on that. Like you could see that mini retrospective of uh, Jet Set Radio and that big critique of Bomber Cyberfunk so thank you for all the love and support on there um, so I hope to produce better content for y'all uh, in the future especially when it's about these sort of games that I really do love um, but yeah comment down below what you guys think and feel free to comment whatever uh, even spoilers but for those who are actually new to the uh, uh, new to the channel and also to the franchise and, and this game I highly recommend don't read the comment section. If you are typing spoilers in the comment section, I guess you should put a warning that there is spoilers um, before you say a lot of things. Because the reason why I'm allowing this right now is because I do want to know the details uh, so I could come in to be more educated when playing uh, Rebirth, you could say. Man, I I'm just so excited. Like like because this is what i wanted from the remake like this is everything what i want i just wanted more uh more things to do and that's what they're doing all right guys have a good one